Kenya about raising campaign contributions for the late councilman Charles Lewis. I, I got to raise uh, Charles Lewis about maybe three or three or four thousand bucks. Sure. Where, when and where? Uh, but I'll, uh, I'll let you know. I got to confirm everything with mine. Okay. You want me to meet you down at the club, pick it up, and then come back with the checks? I could probably do yeah. it in about. It'd probably take me like one to two days to get the checks off. Yeah, perfect. Malone and his boss, Cheetah's owner Mike Gallardi, had a plan to repeal the city's no touching rules in strip clubs. And according to the wiretaps, they thought Councilman Charles Lewis, Ralph and Zunza, and Michael Zuquette would help them. Why can't we have Ralph call Zuquette and say, hey, go do this right now? I mean, I thought Zuquette was Ralph's boy. Dude, I agree. Malone and Montagna are seen in this 2003 surveillance video after a lunch meeting with Nzunza and Zuquet. Malone knew Zuquet wanted to get rid of a lay girls strip club in his district, so in February 2003, Malone calls an undercover vice cop who was supposedly on Cheetah's payroll. If you could look and see what, what type of problems they've had, you know, in the past where it, it, it helped their issue of closing l l this lake girls, uh -huh. that would be wonderful. Okay. But this was a big issue for, for Zuquette. On lake girls? On lake girls. Later that year, Malone sets up one of Gallardi's Las Vegas strip club employees to appear before a city council committee. I am Mr. in Mr. Zuckett's uh, district. Tom Waddell pretends to be in Zuquette's district and wants a new strip club ordinance on the next agenda. The day before that meeting, Waddell, Malone, and Montagna talk. One of the clients we train lives in his district. So I decided, I said, you know, can I just use your address as a place to live? And he said, absolutely. So I figured that would look a lot better when we stand up there. And Zuquette will be well, yeah, like, then you can say that yeah. I, live, I, I live in, you know, Council Michael Zuquette's. Exactly. Uh, these recordings released today are from the first two weeks of the Strippergate trial. As more tapes are played during the trial, they'll be released every day. Tonight, new at 5 o'clock, we'll be hearing for the first time recordings of the councilman. And I think it's very interesting for even us who've been covering this trial to hear these voices because, after all, we have not heard Tony Montagna outside court, no comment, Lance Malone, no comment. Mm -hmm. So you really get to understand a little bit more about their personalities here. We've heard the allegations for months and months and all the different layers to the story and the different people involved, but it does paint a different dynamic to hear these conversations yeah, taking place. It certainly does, not only for us as, as journalists, but also for the jurors as well because obviously maybe some of them have heard these names before. We should tell you that the media fought very hard and actually won in this case. Uh, to the judge's credit, he allowed us to, to get these recordings and these videotapes. Very interesting. And there are more to come, including oh. more at 5. Plenty more at 5 and again at 6.30. All right. Thanks a lot, Phil. Mm -hmm. Well, this afternoon, the San Hundreds of secretly recorded audio tapes in the City Hall's Tripagate case have been made public. The voices of three city councilmen are heard on those tapes talking to members of the strip club industry. Local 8's Phil Blower has the tapes that were recorded by the FBI, Phil. Stan and Barbara Lee, Local 8 News and other media outlets had to go to court to get these tapes released. Not only audio tapes, but also undercover video and surveillance photos taken inside the Strippergate investigation. You're looking at strip club lobbyist Lance Malone and undercover FBI informant Tony Montagna on videotape secretly recorded by the FBI after a meeting they had with city councilman Ralph Nzunza and Michael Zuquet. In another videotape, Nzunza meets again with Malone and Montagna. Malone works for Cheetah strip club owner Mike Gallardi. On secret wiretap recordings, Malone discusses with the informant the money they contributed to the councilman. I, I got to raise uh, Charles Lewis about maybe three or three or four thousand bucks. Sure. When, when and where? Malone's plan is to repeal the city's no touching rules at strip clubs by getting a new strip club ordinance on the city council agenda. Malone and Montagna talk about getting the issue before the council's public safety committee in April of 2003. It seems like we're so close. But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't trust until I, until I see it and hear it and it goes down. So you're going to make it fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, I mean, uh, everything so far in, indicates that it's, gonna, it's going uh, the way we want it. So. Malone is also working with a vice cop, Russ Bristol, who was pretending to be on the take. In 2002, Nzunza makes a phone call to Bristol to talk about making changes in the strip club law. I mean, if we were to bring it before our public safety committee, is that something you guys could... Um, could bring in front of us in a couple months or in a few months or something like that? I don't know why. Not. It's something we can't look at, yeah. Councilman Charles Lewis also telephones Bristol in 2003 using Lance Malone's cell phone. Once again, federal agents are listening in. Detective, this is Charles Lewis. Captain Lewis? Hey, how you doing, sir? I'm all right. 
I just need to make sure when this uh, possible adult entertainment ordinance comes up, uh -huh. if I can call you and just get some questions answered, I want to make sure that we uh, handle the issues right and we uh, take care of the officers' concerns and also the public concerns. That's not a problem. Later that year, Malone and Montagna are recorded talking with Las Vegas resident Tom Waddell. Waddell works for Cheetah's owner Mike Gallardi. And as the plan goes, Waddell is set up to go before the Public Safety Committee to request changes in strip club rules. Who, who are we going to use to go up there? Do we know yet? Uh, it'll probably be Tom Waddell. Oh, good. The tapes released today are only the beginning. Hundreds more will be released as the Strippergate trial continues. Now coming up new at 6.30, more unreleased tapes, including one where the late Councilman Charles Lewis talks about taking a trip to Las Vegas. Uh, tip of the iceberg, huh? It's going to be rather lengthy, yes. Thanks, right. Phil. Yep. Thanks, Phil. The court martial trial continues at Naval State. Expected to rest its case tomorrow. Jackson will not testify. The public is getting its first chance to hear secret wiretap recordings in the City Hall Strippergate case. A judge started releasing the FBI recordings today in response to a motion filed by Local 8 News and other media outlets. Local 8's Phil Blower joins us now with those tapes. Stan and Kathleen, we're talking about hundreds of audio and videotape recordings that led to federal indictments against three San Diego City Councilmen. And now for the first time, we hear some of the evidence against those men in their own words. Secretly recorded videotapes showing local politicians meeting with a strip club lobbyist and an undercover FBI mole. And wiretaps of telephone calls hey, made by three sir. city councilmen right. during the FBI Strippergate investigation. Detective, this is Charles Lewis. Captain Lewis? Hey, how you doing, sir? I'm all right. I just need to make sure when this possible adult entertainment ordinance comes up, uh -huh. if I can call you and just get some questions answered, I want to make sure that we uh, handle the issues right. On one tape, strip club lobbyist Lance Malone is heard talking with FBI mole Tony Montagna about contributions they made to Councilman Ralph Nzunza and Michael Zuckett. Hey, you took our money, you made promises, keep them. You know? Yeah, but see, Tony, it's, it's tough because it, what can happen is they can say, you know something, Lance? Screw you. We don't care about your money. It's a done deal. You know, you, you know, come after me in four more years. In another call, Councilman Nzunza is heard talking with a San Diego vice cop who was supposedly on the take about changing strip club rules. We've gotten a, a few emails, and I know there's always interest in the community as to what it is that 